Hey guys, it is a gorgeous sunny day out. Of course, I haven't been out since like Saturday, I don't think. But it is gorgeous. Beautiful. I can't see the screen because the sun's so bright, but we're about to go down to Saginaw. Pete needs his blood drawn to see if his uh, Coumadin and his chemo, his new chemo thing are working together nicely or fighting each other. Um, of course, we'll probably go out for lunch. I don't know what else we might do. We'll know when we get there. So, uh, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous out here. The car says it's thir it's 1.30ish. The car says it's 13. My phone says it's 3. So, the wind chill is 3. Um, above. So, being above zero is pretty cool. <laughs> we're supposed to be above zero now for the foreseeable future. In fact, we're supposed to be near 50 by Monday. So, We'll see how that goes. Don't know where all the snow's gonna go, but you can see on that picnic table over there how high it is, so. All right, guys, Pete's now in the car waiting for me to get in, so I will join him and I will see you later. Bye. See, I haven't been out for a few days, so all this is kinda, I haven't seen what it's like. I see that. There's some icy spots still, but you're pulling over why, love? Oh, okay. Put it back into wheel drive. Apparently we had a propane leak in here at some point, so I, uh, with my superior olfactories, I can still catch a whiff of it, but it's a lot better than Pete said it was, so that's a good thing. Oh. Good thing we don't smoke. Good thing we don't smoke. Yeah, but I like to light matches. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alrighty. Only in bathrooms. Only in bathrooms. Alrighty then. I-75, it's 10... Oh, look, the roads are nice and clean and dry. Well, that's a happy surprise. So, P went out and got more propane tanks today, so we can have over 100 pounds of propane. Not counting what is uh, in the main tank that came with the RP, which we have no idea how big it is or how much it holds, but... It's saved for emergencies, but anyway, so we are, we can have over 100 pounds of propane, and that almost guarantees that it's probably going to be really warm for the rest of the winter, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I have to put my uh, ice fishing shanty on top of my kayak. <laughs> Use some ice fishing. That's right. Yeah. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go again. I'll see you later. Hi, guys, we are in Saginaw. We stopped at the um, VA and Pete got his blood drawn. Didn't take long, so I just waited in the car so we wouldn't have to shut off the car and disconnect the battery. Um, we just ate at G's. Which, as you know, when we're in home late, we eat at G's a lot. This one, of course, is about five times the size, but they have the same delicious food. Um, we're going to go to Magoo's and Sam's, but I don't know if that's in that order or not. But anyway, so that's how the day is going. It says it's 16 out. It's... Uh, well, it says it's 209, but I know that's not correct. Maybe, I don't know what's correct anymore. Correct. That is correct. He just said it. It's 209. I thought we got here like 2.30. Oh, it probably wasn't correct then. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, anyway, I had two appetizers. I had their tato tots, which are really good. And they have some... Uh, chips appetizer with cheese and 
bacon. Well, that's it, cheese and bacon. So I got two appetizers. That was my my deal. All right, I'll see you at the next place. Bye. Sam's waiting for Pete to get the car, come out and pick me up. Just sitting here on my walker. I gotta tell you something. Pete's probably sick of hearing about it, so I'm gonna tell you. So when he gets here, he doesn't have to hear about it anymore. Really, if people are gonna try and pass off a service dog at a public place, I mean, pass off their pet as a service dog, they should at least train their dog to fake it. Service dogs train real legal service dogs do not jump on everybody within the stretch of their leash and totally ignore their person. Real service dogs don't get tangled up in the guy's cane or shopping cart. Schools must be out today, lots of kids. Anyway. Um, going through the store, they stopped him, they questioned him at the door. It's not legal for him to do that, but there's no teeth in the law that allows people to do that, they're not allowed to say. There's, first of all, there's no card or documentation that a legal service dog care owner carries. So right there is the first problem. The second problem is you're not allowed to ask them any questions because of privacy. Well, I can understand that. Um, but you're allowed to ask what services the dog performs for you. But you're not allowed to make them perform like, like a circus dog. So really, they, you know, they stopped him, they asked him whatever he said, because I couldn't hear whatever he said satisfied them. Because they waved him on through, and his little papillon went through the store being an obnoxious little brat. Just waiting for me so much. And there's the dog. Got him the side. He's got it sitting in his cart now. In the child seat. But that dog would do, and nobody could say or do anything because the guy lied and said it's a legal service dog in the This gives all service dogs a bad name, and those who have legal service dogs, and especially those with invisible disabilities, are, you know, they're the ones that are looked, looked upon as being the ones with the obnoxious family pet that the person just wants to take with them to Sam's Club. I hope I got it all out straight because I'm very distracted. But I'll tell you one thing. That really irks me. It really irks me. It's so blatant, yet there's no way to fix it. There's no way to do anything about it. People are trying to shop and the dog's jumping on them. Really? Anybody can go online and buy a harness that says service dog or leash or collar. And um, they don't have a leash. That doesn't make them a legal service dog. Then they go to websites. There are all kinds of websites. Send us your money and we'll send you service dog credentials. There is no such thing. There is no freaking such thing. But there are unscrupulous companies out there. So 
before my brain totally shuts down from being so irked and watching for me and all the people and everything that's going on, I'm going to go and I'll see you later. Bye. See that? Want a gas. The light turned green and I was trying to get my... my uh, I was trying to get my phone out and turned on. At least I got to see it. Pete was able to delay a split second going in the light. Anyway, that's Wanagas Credit Union. If any of you can think of that word and see what the what possibly is special about that word. Sorry, it's bumpy there. But if any of you can see uh, anything that's special about that word, just you know, put it put it in the comments below. <laughs> All righty. One more thrift store so far today. We ate lunch at Cheese. We went to, um, we just went to the Goodwill. Now we're going to go to the Salvation Army. And going into the Goodwill, I noticed that my favorite purse, the one I was going to keep for the rest of my life, one of the straps is frayed almost completely through, and I don't know how or why. So I looked at all the purses back there and didn't find one that I could live with. I want one just like the one I've got actually. That probably won't happen. Oh um, uh, well. So we will uh, see what they have at the next thrift store that we're on our way to. And um, hopefully I'll find one. Okay, see you later. Station Army. Beautiful sunset. There's, of course, we're in the city, Saginaw, so we're seeing the traffic copters in the sky. Here comes one for rush hour. Where is it? It's over there. It's a little dot right in the middle now. So, he just, in that pretty, pretty sky. Anyway, so here's what happened. The look. That's coming off. You can see right through it. This is my favorite purse. I wanted it forever, but hi. But it broke, so we've been looking for a purse. I finally found one today. Oh, I gotta get my drink. Where can you get it? And look. See, I got that hanging on the front. See. I'm so pleased I got another purse that I like the same color. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. 15 degrees. Every time we stop somewhere, Pete's got to unhook the battery. 5.40 p.m. So here's what I'm wearing. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> a fleece vest. Just a, just a plain fleece vest. Sweatshirt. No shirt under it or anything, but I have pants on that go with the sweatshirt the same color. So, um, yeah, and it feels so good. It is so beautiful out. And wearing these, being able to just go out and close again without all these other stuff is wonderful. It makes me very happy. So, um, when I get home, maybe I'll do a haul or maybe not. It just depends on if Maisie will let me. Or if she's going to be all crazy. Crazy Maisie. That girl. So, we'll see when I get there. And, um, sparkly hair. So, I will, uh, you know, see you at home. Bye. Time since I did a haul video. So, I got all this stuff plus more elsewhere behind me. So, I'll just do what I can do. I'll try and I'll try and get it all, you know. Do anyway. This was from Magoo's, which is the pet store. Nutrition Plus Supreme Diet. That's for the the four bigger birds. Ten twenty five for four pounds. That was on sale. Grain free, wholesome gourmet biscuits. 
grain free with real cheddar cheese and cleans teeth and blah blah blah. Three pounds. It was on sale for four ninety nine from five ninety nine. Assorted trachea pieces for the dogs. It was a dollar sixty seven. These little dog foods, there's a little tiny little tiny um packages. Chewy is getting like digger. Um, you know, Don and Greg's digger, where he has to be, he's getting worse and worse, where he has to be, um, oh, it's hard to get him to eat. So anyway, P has played all kinds of tricks with him. So, um, I got these, they were on sale for 24 cents each, so I got four of those so he can mix a little of this with his food, so maybe he'll eat it better. And this is for Clinger. Cockatiel food. It was, I don't remember how much it was. Armada Grain is a local, well, downstate, but it's a local company. I think it was $6.99, but I'm not sure. That will get mixed in with the Big Bird food. So those two together will get mixed in my big um, jug that I use, and that'll keep the four Big Birds for about a month. Okay, um, I don't know where I left off, but this turned off because my SD card was full. I throw, I delete all the clips that I use to make up my videos, so, and I hadn't done that in like two weeks. <laughs> anyway, so there's that, and that's from a goose. Oh yeah, and then I wanted to get them some soft treats also, so that was $3.99 for those. So Pete got this orange, he's been wearing a lot of orange lately, um, St. John's Bay, whatever kind of shirt that is. He got that one and he got another one, he got two of them. I don't know what all these prices were. Some of them, these, I know both these shirts were 50% off. He got this for Leland, a tiger shirt, and I got a pair of dark brown pants. I got these navy blue pants. Pete found this very cool bag. And he found for four bucks a, uh, I guess it's a Tom Tom. So then we went to uh, Salvation Army. Because my purse broke, I showed it to you in the parking lot. And that dark red is my color now. So I found this one which I'll use instead. It's $5.99, but it's got pocket there, pocket in there. Maisie's helping. And then this closes it from there. And then it's got another zipper pocket and a couple other pockets in here. And then it's got a pocket there. So anyway, this is my new purse, which I'm excited about. A kid's guitar. It's a very nice guitar, too. It's heavy. I wish, I don't know if I'm not, anyway. It's heavy, and um, it's got really nice um, uh, tuning things, gears on the back. Very, very nice. It's a really nice guitar for $7.99. For the kids, and we're hoping Leland will take an interest. It's got the thing that's things on it for a strap, even. Yep. My ukulele doesn't have that, and I want a strap on it. Anyway, the only there's a little bit of chippage there. That's all. And that's it. It's got really good, nice strings on it, and nice tight strings, and it's a really nice. When he first picked it up, I thought, oh, I'll play guitar for the kids. You know, but it's not. It's really heavy and nice. Oh, there's some really nice maternity jeans for Casey. Really, really nice ones. They're real heavy duty and an almost, they're like brand new. So, and they're her size. So I got her those. And um, everything's undergoing a sniff test now. So This is for Pete. His shakes, organic shakes. This is mine. I drink one of these every day. Pete's case of V8. He munches on these. Or for Pete. I could probably have some if I wanted. I don't really. Um, 
cinnamon bagels, which I will toast or whatever. Two, good, two organic good seed Dave's bread that Pete eats. I do use for my sandwiches, I use um, low carb um, flat flour things. So there's that. And then on the way home, that. So, okay, I got all this stuff to go put away. I will see you tomorrow. So have a. What? 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 Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a sensational Saturday. Take care, God bless, and good night. What? Look at me. Good girl.